Hello, and welcome to this video on working with the column menu. The column menu offers lots of options, including the ability to show column totals, set filters, and use the chart rollup and pivot tools. The column menu displays when you click a column in a report. You can work with formatting tools, chart type options, and even highlight different aspects of your data. The column menu gives you more control over what displays in your report. For a non-measure or dimension column, there are three primary sections to the column menu. The first section, Column Options, includes the options to show column total, aggregations, and hide column. The second section contains the chart rollup and pivot options. The final section contains filtering and highlighting options. The chart rollup enables you to select a chart type and optionally specify an aggregation other than the default of sum. The rollup option is used to select an aggregation for the currently selected column. You can also select a group by value, options for which include the list of different columns in the report. You can use the pivot option to create a cross-tab pivot table. You can select an aggregation for the currently selected column. Next, specify a column value by which to group the report. Indicate an across value to create the across values in your table. In all cases, click Create to implement your selections. If you are working with a measure or numeric value, you can use the numeric slider to set values for what you want to display. The slider defaults to show the lowest to highest values in your measure. You can also enter a numeric value range. However, if the value you enter does not fall into the range specified by the measure, the value will be crossed out and highlighted in red, prompting you to reconcile the values. The filter options are robust, enabling access to the list of data values in the hierarchy for the currently selected field. Here you can select to select all of the values in the list, or you can select one or more non-consecutive values. You can clear all selected values by clicking Clear. The Highlight option works in a similar fashion, enabling you to select values in the same way. The column menu gives you access to the formatting, filtering, and tools that you need to work with your content at runtime and produce usable, shareable information. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.